There were a ton of gimbals at NAB this year, lots of new ones with different ideas, different tech built into them, but there was one in particular that I looked at and thought, wow, this really answered a lot of the issues that I have when it comes to gimbals, and that was with the Ben Row gimbal. What's good, creative fam? Brandon Washington here. And first of all, if you're brand new to the channel, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button because this channel is all about filmmaking gear, tips, and tutorials. But in today's video, we're taking a look at this Benro prototype gimbal. Now, at NAB, it's not uncommon to see products that haven't technically been released yet, and that is because NAB is where they get a chance to kind of take a product to the floor and talk to the actual end users to get insight on how they can change and update these products to make them the best they can possibly be by the time they come out. And that's exactly the case that happened when I went over to the Benro booth. Now, originally I shot an entire video at the booth, but the audio was so bad and it was really loud on the floor that I decided I would wait till I got back to my office to be able to actually shoot this video for you guys because this is a product that I am personally super excited about seeing come to the market. Now for starters, this gimbal was kind of going back a little bit. I mean, before we had like the Crane 2s and the Ronin S's and all these like Zhiyun Cranes and all these different types of gimbals, we had the original dual-handed grip. And that, in my opinion, is the best and easiest way to actually shoot with a gimbal. I mean, I personally find that they're more stable. I find that they're a little bit easier to use, but the biggest issue that you had with most of them was that in order to actually put them down, it required an additional accessory that you had to keep around with you at all times. The other thing was that none of them really gave you the ability to do things like control your camera or to be able to pull focus or to really do anything other than stabilizing the camera. Well, that's where this Benro gimbal really is going to change everything. This is kind of marrying the best of both worlds between the old two-handed grip type gimbals and the new pistol grip gimbals. Now this gimbal literally has everything that you would ask for. First of all, it can stand on its own because it does have a nice little tripod mount. But one cool thing that they did with this little tripod mount is that it also doubles as your undersling handle. So you just unscrew this little knob, you twist it, and now you can use this for undersling mode. This will allow you to use this thing just like the original Ronin M's or the Movi M5's that I absolutely loved shooting with. The other thing is that this thing has full control of your camera. So if you're shooting on, as of right now, if you're shooting on Canon or if you're shooting on Sony, this thing will allow you to actually control those settings for your exposure. So like your ISO, your aperture, your shutter speed, it's really, really cool that they packed this thing in and it has a nice little LCD screen on there, or I'm sorry, an LED screen on there that you can actually use to see your settings. And then to go one step forward, they even have a nice little wheel on the side, which is very different than the typical kind of rounded follow focus wheel that you see. Those typically require that you have a full hand available in order to actually use the follow focus. With this, they have this nice little knob on the side that you can just use your thumb to be able to actually dial in your focus, which I wasn't able to test it on the floor, but the idea definitely sounds interesting and I can't wait to actually test this out. Now, if you think that's all this gimbal has, trust me, I'm not even done yet. So it also has quarter threaded holes throughout this entire thing. There are some along the base. There are some along the top of the actual handles. There's some actually even in the tripod mount. So no matter where you are actually trying to mount something, whether that's a monitor, an audio pack, a light, this thing has mounting ports everywhere. Speaking of ports, this thing also will allow you to reroute your ports to those accessories. So what I mean by that is, let's say for example, you are trying to run a monitor and an audio port out of your camera. Well, typically when using a gimbal, you really just have cables everywhere and it becomes this giant nightmare. But now with this thing, you actually have these two little ports that are right underneath the camera. So you can use like little short, like six inch type cables run HDMI into that little port, run your audio line into that little port, and then on the bottom of the gimbal, there is an out that you can then run a cable into your actual monitor or into your audio port, which is really, really awesome because as a lot of you guys may or may not have experienced, whenever you are running cables from your camera while on a gimbal, it tends to throw the balance off. And then you have to deal with cables getting tied up as your gimbal is spinning around and different issues like that. So with having these nice little expansion ports to be able to kind of 
get rid of some of those long, extra long cables just so you can go into a monitor. And that way also when you're actually turning your gimbal, the cables don't get in the way. This is a huge benefit that I see that this is something that this gimbal does that I have not seen another gimbal do yet. And certainly last but not least, this gimbal also gives you the ability to break it down. So that means that you can actually unscrew these little handles, everything folds in together. So that way it's a lot smaller and easier for transport. Personally, I'm excited about this gimbal. I mean, it stopped me in my tracks when I was walking on the floor, which trust me, there is a lot of stuff on the NAB floor to see. And to be able to like kind of be walking by this gimbal to see it stop and then actually ask them some questions about it is super, super interesting and exciting for me. And I can't wait to get my hands on the final gimbal. Of course, this is a prototype, so it wasn't really balancing. The software wasn't quite there yet. The finishes weren't fully there, but the idea and if they can get this gimbal fully up and operational, I know that personally I'm invested in it. I'm excited about it. They did let me know that when this gimbal comes available after talking to them for a little bit, that they will actually send me a gimbal that I can test out and show you guys a fully functional version, which I am personally just want to see for myself, but also I want you guys to be able to see because in this world of gimbals and everything else that's going on, it's nice to see that someone is kind of going back to the original roots that made gimbals so good originally, which is the two-handed grip gimbal, and they're actually figuring out a way to bring that into the modern time with all the updates that some of the pistol grip gimbals have been doing. And it's that perfect little balance. I know for me personally, I like this gimbal. I'm excited to see what I can do with it and what it's capable of. But let me know what you guys think about this gimbal down below in the comments. If you think this is cool, if you think it's corny, if you guys are just gonna stick with a pistol grip gimbal because it's easier to operate with one hand. But I know personally, just from the weight, it's always easier to be able to distribute that between two hands even when I was shooting with the crane 2 I was always trying to figure out how to get a dual grip so I ended up buying a dual grip for my crane 2 and even with the Ronin S that's one thing I've always wanted was a way to attach it to dual grips because it's just easier to shoot for longer periods of time that way but let me know what you guys think I'd love to hear what you guys have to say down in the comments if you haven't already definitely hit that subscribe button because I have a lot more videos coming out really really soon and I'll catch you guys in the next video peace